Oh, she failed. Try it one more time, see what we get. Didn't pick up the next one. Okay, what's it doing? It didn't pick up the next row at all. Alright, we'll work on that part of it. Hey there, folks, welcome to Maverick Gunworks channel. Alright, today I'm going to talk about a little troubleshooting that we're going to do on this AR pistol. This is a 300 blackout pistol. And, uh, Let's see, just for the heck of it, I'll tell you, it's from ABC Rifle Company in Las Vegas, Nevada. Not that that matters, that's where the lower is from. I'm not sure where the upper was built or who built that. I just know the customer brought it in with a complaint that it will not cycle the 300 blackout subsonic rounds. He's using uh, subsonic rounds. He'll probably, I'm guessing, probably going to be uh, putting a suppressor on this gun. And it's just not cycling. It uh, will fire once and the bolt won't come back far enough to catch the second round. So uh, we've got a gas issue problem, I think. We're gonna do some troubleshooting and, and kind of figure it out. All right, so uh, we'll tear into it and see what we can find out. All right, let's see if this works now. Still don't work. That's after drilling it out another four thousandths. Not coming back. This won't come back far enough. Still got the other two. Okay, we'll try again. Uh, we're going to try one more time after we've drilled it out again. We're about uh, nine thousandths, I believe, larger than what the factory hole was. So, still not big enough. The bolt didn't catch the second round again. Nope. All right. We'll keep on trying. All right. Here we go again. One more time. Right, How many rounds? Are, do we have more rounds in it? Yeah. Got one more in it. it fired twice. Did not though. pick it up. Didn't pick up the third one. All right. Well, I guess that tells me we're getting pretty close. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll try it one more time. This time we've changed the gas block because it we feel like there was a little bit of a blockage there. There you go. That seems to hold up better. Okay, folks, we are uh, concluding what we finally found out with uh, trying to make this 300 blackout pistol cycle like it should. And what we've done, the, the customer brought in the ammo he was using. This is a Hornady. It's a 300 blackout, 208 grain, 8 max bullet, uh, subsonic rounds. And from the, uh, all right, from the tells, well, what it tells us on the back of the box is that. Muzzle velocity is 1,020 feet per second um, with 200 grain bullet, 208 grain bullet. So it's not going as fast um, and as much uh, gas pressure as a high velocity cartridge would be. So we had to do some compensation for that. Um, and what I've done in troubleshooting and going through this a little bit at a time, I started out with replacing the, um, I started out with actually using a little bit different uh, buffer spring. I have one that's a little shorter and tried that, did not help it at all. So then we start looking at the gas system. We've gone back and uh, drilled the barrel hole for your gas flow, a little larger, a little larger, a little larger, a couple of different times. Um, ended up give, having the hole as large as the diameter of the gas tube, uh, the outlet in the gas tube. So I said, well, it's still not quite getting there, so there's something else wrong. Uh, and in doing so there, we backed up and said, let's take a a strong look at the gas block itself and the tube itself. We've already blown the air through it. Everything seems to be cleared up. It's not, a, not an issue with any kind of blockage at all. All right, so we took the gas tube out, and what I found in, uh, in, in using the, the gas tube alignments, what I found wrong with it, I took the set screw out right here and put the diameter of the drill bit that is, should be the same as the hole that is through the gas tube, I guess so you have full gas flow. But when you, when you put the... Uh, drill bit or a um, or a drill blank the same size through the hole into the gas port on your gas block to make sure that the you have a clear shot between the gas block hole and the gas tube and in doing so there's where I found the issue the hole in the gas tube does not quite line up right so it was partially blocked 
and I don't know, honestly, I don't know yet. We've, and it's, at this point, it's a mute point anyway, but I don't know if it's the gas tube was drilled wrong or the gas block is slightly off spec. But one way or the other, that, <clears throat> the hole did not line up so that you get full flow through the gas port. So in fact, once I found that, we were uh, able to find out we had in the shop here another gas block and tube assembly that fits the uh, same specs as what this rifle is, the pistol, uh, pistol specs. Put that on here, and by golly, it cycles like it's supposed to. Um, so that's, that's the trick right there. We've and just with all the, the different uh, troubleshooting we went through, we found out it ended up being a slightly defective uh, a hole alignment between the gas tube and the gas block. All right. So there you go. We've fired it several times now, and we'll, we'll do a, a video on that and show you that. That uh, before the gas tube was not lined up, didn't have enough gas quite enough to push the bolt all the way back to catch the second round. It would fire one round, um, maybe twice sometimes, but it never would continue to cycle. So it was just a tiny bit off of getting enough gas to pull the bolt far enough back to catch the last round, or the next round rather. Anyhow, that's what we've got so far. So, uh, if you have that kind of issue, hope it'll help you out. Thanks for watching.